Hey yo internetters, welcome back to another pin spin video and so for today, I'm pretty sure you can tell from the title, we'll be learning how to do a pin linkage today. I got this pin linkage from Tiger Sue Pin Spinning Channel and I'll leave a link down to his channel below in the description so please make sure you check that out. And basically, the pin linkage that we'll be learning today is this. And so in order for you to learn this pin linkage, you gotta know how to do these pin tricks. The Twisted Sonic, the Scissor Spin, the Pass Reverse, the Thumb Around from Finger Slot 3 and 4. And so I have a few videos of me learning these pin tricks and I'll leave a link up here for you to click on so that you can check that out. And with all that being said, let's just get right into learning this linkage. Uh, so today's first day of learning the linkage, we'll just get right into it. And so on the first day of learning this linkage, it was more like a test for me because I already know how to do majority of these pin tricks comfortably and I want to see how well I can link all of these together being able to know how to do these pin tricks. And so I started off simply by just linking the Twisted Sonic to the scissor spin and it didn't take me long for me to actually get that down decently but it still needs some work. And so when it came time for me to actually start doing the pass reverse to this linkage or adding the pass reverse to this linkage, I ran into a bit of an issue. And that was the moment I realized I never practiced the pass reverse ever. And now this linkage just became fill in the blank. Day two of learning the linkage and uh, we'll see how it goes. And so I'm sure you guessed it because I don't know how to do the pass reverse. That means I got to learn how to do the pass reverse on top of this linkage. And basically my goal is to practice roughly about 30 minutes to an hour on just the pass reverse before I actually start practicing the linkage. Also though, the strategy that I'm going to do to try to save time is just to practice the pass reverse on the finger slots that I need to use only. As for day two of practicing the linkage, I did what I could with what I can do with the finger pass, but really I can't get any farther with this linkage unless I get the finger pass down. So this is day three of learning the linkage and I'm actually pretty annoyed. I'm not getting anywhere with it. While I was practicing on day three, my main source of frustration came from the pass reverse. Mainly it's because it involved my ring finger and my pinky finger, which these two fingers aren't my strong suits, which basically every time it involves these fingers, I'll always struggle when I'm learning something new involving pin spin. And so because of that, I focused mostly on getting the Twisted Sonic and the Scissor Spin linkage to be a little bit more smoother while practicing, of course, the pass reverse before I start practicing the linkage. On day four, it was just an overall bad day for me. Like it even started in the beginning of me miscounting the day of me practicing this linkage. So we're working day three of learning the linkage. And then after that, leading into the practice, everything seems normal, right? And so far, you can see the improvement of the pass reverse. So that's pretty cool. And on top of that, I even got the thumb around um, be, are being able to do the thumb around from finger slot three and four. But then as I continue to practice this, I felt something was off and wrong with this linkage. And that's the moment I realized. For the past four days, I've been practicing the three, four slot thumb around incorrectly. So basically it's hard for you to tell what I did wrong with the thumb around uh, from finger slot three and four at the angle. So at this angle, after the finger pass, I tried to do a thumb around right after that, and it was very hard for me to do. Instead, what you're really wanting to do is after the finger pass, you will turn your pin over like this, get your thumb to position right here, and just flip the pin around and do the thumb around. Just like that. Instead of doing it like like that. All right, so this is day four of learning the linkage and I feel like I got a breakthrough and yeah, we'll just test it out today. So the breakthrough was actually me being able to do the pass reverse more consistently and more smoothly, which was the main overall issue that I was facing. On top of that, 
I was able to actually do the 3-4 thumb around a lot smoother and faster and better. Mainly because this new way of, well, the correct way of doing it is actually easier to do than the other way that I was trying to do it, which was wrong. And so now that I have the pass reverse down, which was the main issue, does it mean that I'm able to do the linkage now? And so I am able to do the linkage now, but to me, I feel like I could improve it a little bit more because when I'm doing the linkage, there were some slight pauses which make the pin flow or the linkage flow not really smooth. Like for example, when I'm doing the scissor spin into the pass ref, there was a slight pause. And also there's a slight pause doing the uh, thumb around from finger slot three and four. So I'll spin like, you know, however many times to try to smooth this out a little bit better. I'm exhausted, man. I let's just get right into it, dude. Uh, yeah. So today's day 11. We're gonna try and get it down today. So even after 12 days of consistent practice, I am still struggling with smoothing out this linkage. And basically, the main issue is coming from the scissor spin into the pass reverse. Everything else, it seems to be smoothing out. It seems to flow very nicely now. And so what's funny is the fix that I managed to come up with in day 12 was basically just changing how I held the pin with doing my Twisted Sonic. So if we take a look at this pin that I always use for my videos, you can see that this line right here indicates the center of gravity of the pin, which means that it's perfectly balanced if you rest it there. And so before when I was doing the Twisted Sonic, I would hold the pin between my slot two and three, right about here, right? It's slightly below the center of gravity. And when I was doing the Twisted Sonic into the scissor spin, it was inconsistent like you saw in the previous clip. But what I changed was I slightly held the starting point to do the Twisted Sonic slightly above the center of gravity. And so after 22 hours of practicing this linkage, and 41 minutes, and 41 minutes, forgot the minutes. I'm able to do the linkage to my satisfaction. And so, yeah, that's pretty much all I have for today. And if you enjoyed the video, please make sure you show it by hitting the like and subscribe button. And like always, thanks for watching and until next time.